How are you? Fine, thank you. How are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, may I first say I'm very glad to finally see our PS um, in person. <laughs> yeah, um, it's such a great honor, sir. And uh, all protocols observed. My name is Amemori H. Chanda, as already indicated, and I am an author, among other things. Um, Lillian, <laughs> I am here to give a speech and when she sent an invitation for me to speak at her book launch. First of all, I was, I was like, girl, I know you sure. Uh, <laughs> but I am very honored and so we thought we should speak about how writing goes in Zambia. It's very colorful for us to be here and celebrate what Lillian has done, but really I think it's best we understand the background of what she has done. She's given us a product, but what does she go through to do that? First of all, speaking from, from experience as a Zambian author, it's not easy. Your Honor, I'd like to mention, I think writing is not an art which is very celebrated in our country. I think if I were to, to stand here and sing like memory, maybe next time um, it'd be all over social media. <laughs> that if I write a book, it requires more effort and time for me to get recognized, even by government officials, and that is why it is very good to see you here, sir, that you travel all the way to uh, be a part of this huge success that Lillian has scored. So when I first wrote my book in 2019, and I remember reaching out to the PS himself, and he advertised my book on his Facebook, I don't know if he remembers, because it is entitled Unhinged. The journey was not easy, and I'm sure Lillian will also attest to this. A lot of people come to you and say, oh, you want to write a book? Are you sure? The Zambian reading culture is not good at all. You're not going to make sales at all. And you sit there with a young dream of being an author, and you start doubting yourself. You're like, will you go into this industry? Or maybe you should just start dancing. It will get me there faster. That's why it takes so much courage to be Lillian. And then, when you write the book itself, the sales do not come easy. It's almost as if you're begging people, would you please support what I'm doing, right? It's not supposed to be like that, and I'm urging each and every person who is here to embrace the writing talent in Zambia. It is rising, but as long as we each do not support it, it will die young. So, as we see today, and as Jimmy will come up here to terrorize us as if he promised, let us allow him to terrorize us because that will support the writing talent and the writing industry at large. And finally, I would like to say, even when we become almost established authors, um, let me just relate what happens to me. I think three days ago, I got this young girl, and the man asked me, What do you do? And I said, Well, I'm an author. And he laughed out loud. And, and, and I looked at him with a straight face, so he realized I'm actually an author. And he says, wait, you're serious? And I'm like, yes. And he says, I didn't know that was a thing in Zambia. And I think a lot of people say that to us. And that is why we know being authors, we need to have a thick skin and so much energy to push you to our own Zambian people firstly, before we even go international. So let us also support Lillian with what she is doing. Congratulations, Lillian. And I'm sure that the PS will uh, do something. We are all going to do something. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I, I noticed the Vice President for the uh, Chamber mentioned that uh, we're co-authors. No, we are not co-authors. She wrote this book entirely on her own. But I think it is mistaken because my book launch is next week, Friday. I'm launching a book called the Woman App. It's entirely, I'm not her co-owner. That's all her mind. So please get some her. Thank you.